everybody. This is my first video and it's an unboxing video. And we're gonna take a look at a new Black Series figure today. And here it is. What's in the box? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Okay then. So it's nicely packaged, nice and safe. I know what it is, but uh, it's all part of the mystery. There we are. Oh, we're going up front ways. Aha. So there we are. Can you see that? That is Anton Merrick. He is the X-Wing pilot in Rogue One. Nice. Very nice. Little blurb there on the back. Blue leader. Lovely. Yeah, right, let's get a closer look now, see what's inside, shall we? Right then, so, out of the packaging. crunching. Always feels like you're going to break him. There we are, and just the blaster to go. Very similar to Han Solo's looking blaster. Right then, that's it. Not many accessories with that one. Lovely. So, I like collecting pilots. And I like army building. I've got loads of Imperial Stormtroopers. I have all sorts of pilots from the sequel era. Um, and I've always wanted to get Wedge. I can't find him at a good price yet. But one day I'll pick him up. But no, he's a nice looking figure. He's got a nice sculpt. I like his moustache. Um feels quite similar to the Luke Skywalker and Dex characters from the Snowspeeder set. <clears throat> yeah, nice. Simple. Quite basic. But quite happy with that. That will go well in the collection. Closer look there. There's no point going through the articulation. We all know what they can do. They're well known for their detailed articulation and various posing. So, yeah, right, let's give him his blaster. Only thing is, I'm seeing there's no holster, which is a little bit disappointing. So it's obviously optional whether you want to pose him without the blaster or with. He reminds me of a World War II Spitfire pilot, actually. Nice bit of detailing on the helmet there. Bit of weathering. That's quite cool. I think the rougher and the dirtier these figures look, the more realistic you're gonna you're gonna get. And I think for us collectors, realism and accuracy is always the way forward. If they look too much like toys, you know, you're not so chuffed for them. At least I'm not. Right, let's see if we can pose this guy. Let's put that on. <laughs> Very often, I have to boil the kettle prior to a, an unboxing. 
<clears throat> just to loosen up the figures a bit. I don't want to break that strap. Mm -hmm. Maybe do that off camera. Come back to you in a minute with that one. Right, there we are. I tell you what, that was an awkward little helmet to get on. Stiff little bugger. But that's it there. Looks quite good. And the blaster. If it's going to focus. Struggling to focus there. There we are. Right then. So let's give this guy a pose ready for the shelf. There we are. Something like that. Yeah. Is he going to stand? There you go. Very nice. Yeah, quite happy with that one. A nice addition to the collection. And I always welcome a new pilot to the squadron. <laughs> Yeah, weird how it doesn't actually cover the back of his head, but I suppose that's okay. We're going to be looking at the front. There you go. Lovely. Well, thanks for watching this little unboxing, and please do like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll continue to upload some more content, and we'll see how we get on. Thank you.